Hello. The organizers invited me, as they explained it to me, very much because of my academic role, so that I'm distanced. I'm not part of any industry fraction. I don't have sort of any personal engagement. However, I'm quite used to for criticizing. So, in this um, sort of in this sort of role of a critical um, scholar. Um, let me just yes, summarize the, uh, today's discussions and, um, and you know, apo apologies already. Don't shoot me down. I'm sort of trying to balance between two very different interests here. Um, and when I was uh, taking notes well, now very quickly, um, sort of thinking about these three panels we had today, um, I think um, the main sort of um, keyword for today was essentially very simple, as it always is. It is about crossing various existing boundaries. So today's first panel was crossing the existing boundaries within Europe. Does it make sense? Is it needed? Should the walls be kept up? Um, secondly, the existing boundaries between the film industry and the big world of, of finance. Why, why is this wall there? Can it be crossed somehow? And lastly, the boundaries between different media. Um, and perhaps one of the, my first thoughts about this between different media is that um, this is a film festival. And very much what was many positions um, voiced today were very much this kind of film specific in the era where we do say things such as there is convergence, there, is, there are crossovers, etc., etc. But we, we still talk about these phenomena from the very specific viewpoints of the old, old school, the very traditional uh, film industry interests. And, uh, and now, trying to sort of make my own points, scholars, university people are very simple, effectively. Um, so we always kind of retreat back to you, um, talking about using uh, the very old, simple, classical principles. So going back to the, the, the basics of media economics, the economies of scale and scope logic, I think this is, this is what very much today's discussions were all about. How to achieve the economies of scope within Europe, within Europe that is, that is traditionally being so fragmented, that the sort of economy of scope has been very difficult to achieve. There, there, there is the dream of it, of growing big and getting rich. Um, and there is the perceived need to be big, getting really big and having the consolidation that uh, Lord Putnam was um, starting today's uh, day off. However, at the same time, there is this, this threat of potentially getting big and you know, old, old, old ways of uh, conducting business across the very fragmented markets uh, are in danger and uh, nobody knows how, what, what's coming next. 